I'm still feeling like really, really hungry. I need to eat like every two hours on the dot. Like I literally have like breakfast then a brunch and then lunch <laughs> and then like an afternoon like snack and then dinner and then like a snack after dinner. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Lindsay. I'm a wife and a mama to a 14 month old little girl. And if you don't know, I am pregnant with our second baby. I am currently 16 weeks pregnant and I am recording my 15 and 16 week baby update. And if you haven't checked out my other pregnancy update videos, go check those out because I have my updates all the way back from week three of my pregnancy. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing to support my channel and follow along on this amazing pregnancy journey. Thanks guys. In this video, I will be going over the size of the baby, the symptoms I'm having, the cravings I'm having, body changes I'm experiencing, and I will share my bump date at the end of the video. I will also show you what I'm using for stretch mark prevention. And I can talk a little bit too about what I've used to put that morning sickness aside because we know that is one of the hardest things to deal with in pregnancy. Now I have another video on that, but I do want to touch on it again in case you missed that video, but you can surely go back to that video and find a more in-depth version of what I did exactly to prevent and to cure morning sickness. Okay, so at 16 weeks, the baby is the size of an avocado. So it's about like that big. It's about four to five inches in length and about three three to four ounces so it's so so tiny but it's growing super fast the baby's muscles in its back are strengthening allowing for the head and neck to straighten out if you've noticed in your ultrasounds previous to 16 weeks the head is kind of like curled in a little bit now it's beginning to straighten out also the skin is transparent so you can see the little veins in the baby's skin <laughs> and there's no fat on the baby just yet. They don't have that cute little baby fat. So if you do see an ultrasound of your little one, you just see like a like a skinny little face. Now let's get into symptoms I'm having. I always start out with the symptoms I'm experiencing the most. And at week 16 in my second trimester, I have to say that, and in week 15 too, like from like 14 weeks to now, I've felt pretty great. Um, Second trimester is always a little bit easier than the first trimester and the third trimester, I have to say, um, compared to my last pregnancy and what I've heard from other pregnant mamas. But um, this week and last week, because my symptoms really haven't changed too much, the biggest symptom for me is back pain. And I never experienced back pain until like later on in my pregnancy with my daughter um, and after pregnancy. So <laughs> it's only like one side of my back, like my lower right quadrant. It feels like, I don't know, like almost like a sharp pain when I move in certain directions. It happens more often if I'm bending over a lot or sitting on the floor with my daughter playing. Excuse me. But that is like, it's just kind of like a nuisance, but I have to say it's not that bad of pain. It's manageable and it just occurs at like different times throughout the day. I have been going to the chiropractor to work on and adjust the area and it's helped tremendously. I did also ask if um, epidural could potentially have worsened my back pain because like I said, I experienced back pain at the end of my pregnancy with my daughter, but after birth and everything, it's just worsened and then being pregnant again, it feels like crap. <laughs> and the chiropractor did say, yes, absolutely, an epidural can enhance back pain. So there's that. And speaking of that, I had a dream last night <laughs> that I delivered the baby with no epidural. Um, I don't know if that's going to happen <laughs> this time. It didn't with my daughter. I was like yelling for that epidural because I did have Pitocin and Cytotec to 
induce the labor and to soften the cervix and everything. So I've heard that Pitocin can really heighten your contractions. And I had pretty intense ones, so I was yelling for the epidural. Let's see, so the back pain is definitely the number one thing right now. I'm still feeling like really, really hungry. I need to eat like every two hours on the dot. Like I literally have like breakfast then a brunch and then lunch <laughs> and then like an afternoon like snack and then dinner and then like a snack after dinner. Um, so I'm eating like, I'm not eating a ton of food when I eat, but I'm eating very consistently throughout the day just to satisfy my hunger and my body's needs. I have mentioned in previous videos that I'm still nursing my daughter. And with that, I think it's just made me all the more hungry and also chasing her around all day. But I'm starting to wean her. So I'm only feeding her about like once to twice a day. And I do feel that I'm beginning to dry up which leads me to the next thing. I say that I'm beginning to dry up because when my daughter latches on now, it's beginning to hurt and she's pulling off a lot. I don't think she's getting much milk. With those two symptoms, um, with her pulling off and with it just kind of hurting now when I breastfeed her. So I'm thinking breastfeeding is probably gonna stop. She's gonna be 15 months soon. So I am very satisfied with nursing her that long. If I can go more, I absolutely will. If I can do just once a day with her, that will be great. I'm still like having like really vivid dreams. They're almost like movies. Like I feel like I'm just watching a movie all night long and I wake up and sometimes I'm like, did that actually happen? Was that reality? <laughs> um, well, of course it's not, but I kind of like the vivid dreams unless I have a dream that's kind of more like a nightmare and scares me. Another symptom I'm having is I'm getting like hormonal acne. I'm getting it mainly on my jawline and my neck. Um, it's really not too bad. It's manageable but I am using like a cleanser and a toner and a good moisturizer that's like oil free to help prevent and just help clear up those breakouts when they do arise. It just comes with being pregnant. I don't remember having breakouts at this point with my daughter um, when I was pregnant with her. I know in the beginning of my pregnancy in the first trimester, I had a lot of breakouts and then the second trimester it like cleared up and my skin like literally was clear until I got pregnant with this little baby. So I don't know, some things are leading me to believe I might be having a boy. Um, number one being I was not nearly as sick this time around, this pregnancy. And number two, I'm having breakouts Number three, I feel like I'm eating so much more than I was with my daughter, but who knows? I don't remember that part of my pregnancy as far as like wanting to eat every two hours. Those are three major things that are, I think, different in this pregnancy than the last one. All right, so now we're going to go over some cravings I'm having. So I've talked about how I've craved like really savory food and not sweet. Well, now I'm definitely craving both. I want like salty and then the next minute I want sweet and I want like a cupcake and a cookie. And I'm not like restricting myself really. I mean, I don't want to eat bad. I don't want to be eating sugar all the time. Like most of my diet, I would say like 80% of my diet is clean, like healthy vegetables like organic foods and all of that. I do crave those sweets and I really crave some savory food like french fries or like sour cream and onion chips. Um, and with my daughter when I was pregnant with her, I did not crave sweets, which is so unlike me. When I'm not pregnant, I'm always craving sweets. Like every night after dinner, I want a cookie. <laughs> So it was nice in that pregnancy not to crave sweets all the time, but this one I'm starting to crave sweets more. Next, body changes. Um, let's see, the biggest thing I have to say 
is my breast. They're wider, veinier, my areolas are beginning to widen and darken. That's what I've noticed the most these past two weeks is that my nipples are getting darker. And then beyond that, my bump is growing, which I will show you towards the end of the video. I'm still fitting into my normal clothes, but my jeans are really getting tight now. So sometimes I have to unbutton them and I'm not yet fitting into my maternity clothes so i'm like in an in-between stage right now which is uncomfortable because i feel like i just don't have a lot to wear and i don't feel cute <laughs> i mean i feel pretty like being pregnant like i enjoy having a pregnant belly um and i just feel like that's what our bodies were made to do so it just feels right and looks right but i'm just at an in-between stage right now where <laughs> things aren't exactly fitting the right way but um i think it was around like 20 ish weeks with my daughter where i started to wear more maternity clothes so we're coming up on that very soon two things i'm using for stretch mark prevention are apricot seed oil um and this is from amazon i believe it was like eight to ten dollars and i've had this literally since i was pregnant with my daughter so i still have it i used it a little bit after um, pregnancy so postpartum for a few months and then I began using this when I found out I was pregnant with this baby so I use it all over my belly my hips and my breast and then I also use this rosehip oil also purchased from Amazon and both are all natural products they are, or are organic and they are just pure which i love because when you have a baby growing inside you the last thing you want to do is put chemicals on your body that get into your bloodstream and go to your baby so this rosehip oil i use also all over my belly my hips my breast and also on my lady parts down there um just to help with the stretching and everything and you know when you have a baby sometimes you tear and I did, I had a second de degree tear, so I'm definitely like oiling that area. And I did wanna talk to you guys too, cause I mentioned earlier in the video that I've posted a previous video talking about morning sickness and how um, I was able to kind of prevent it or decrease the symptoms. I used a kidney supplement. It is called KDY by Loomis Enzymes. And it's just like a herbal food based supplement um, I took in the morning and at night and I paired it with some other things that I did to help prevent morning sickness so go check out that video if you haven't yet and let's get to the bump date okay guys this belly is definitely growing there's the baby 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 Thank you so, so much for staying tuned during my 16, oh, and 15 week update. I'm so glad you're here. I'm so glad you're following along. If you're pregnant, I hope you're feeling well. If you're a mama, I hope you are loving being a mama. And if you're just here watching, just because you're curious, I hope you enjoyed every second of this and have taken away something from it.